I could not have dreamed a more enlightening, educational, and exciting way to spend my summer. Hi, my name is Adam Toomey. I'm a senior double majoring in general biology and environmental studies. This summer, I was fortunate enough, through the generous funding of the Magellan Project and the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, to conduct research in the geothermically active regions of Iceland. Collaborating with PhD students from Alabama, Montana State, and the University of Iceland, we used the natural differences in stream temperatures to investigate how the ecosystem processes of first order streams will potentially be affected due to global issues such as climate change. Hey, my name is Mario Nagra. I received funding from the Magellan Project to spend eight weeks in the Netherlands. While in the Netherlands, I worked on a biophysical chemistry research project at Radboud University. In place of cars, the Dutch used bicycles as their main source of transportation. So each morning, we would get on our bikes and begin the 20-minute ride to work. On weekends, we would go to the train station and take a train to cities across Europe. Hello, my name is Jacob Nagy. This past summer, the Magellan uh, project gave me the ability to travel to Nijmegen in the Netherlands to study single crystal solid state NMR at Radboud University. Also this summer, uh, the Magellan Project gave me the opportunity to basically explore Europe, which is once in a lifetime for a, a student my age at this level. Hey guys, I'm Justin Zaff. I'm a rising junior, and with the help of the Magellan Project, I was able to visit Beijing, Shanghai, and Xi'an, China to study political dissonance towards the government, as well as the future for U.S.-China relations. I was able to visit the Center for American Studies at Sudan University and meet with top international relations teachers and students. Hey everyone, it's Alicia Stoinoff, class of 2012. For my Magellan project this summer, I spent three weeks traveling around Peru. I went there to study the effects of ecotourism on the environment. I went to three different cities, Lima, the capital, Cusco, and Aguas Caliente, which is the city right outside of Machu Picchu, which is a top ecotourism destination in Peru. My name is Joshua Deckman. I am currently a junior and I'm majoring in the Spanish language. I've just spent two and a half weeks in Granada, Nicaragua, working for a non-governmental organization called Casa Jalteva. During this time period, I worked with approximately 18 children taken off of the streets as a mentor and tutor to reinforce the importance of education and provide a positive adult influence in their lives. Thanks to this project, I was able to form a more complete picture of the effects that this organization has had on the small town Nicaraguan community and the positive things that it has been doing for the youth of Granada. Hi, my name is Donnell Jagman and I'm class of 2012. This summer, the Magellan Project allowed me to travel to India for three weeks. I volunteered at a women empowerment program in a suburb of Delhi called Faridabad. I spent one week learning about the culture, sightseeing, and taking Hindi language lessons. For the remaining two weeks, I volunteered at a small project called the Sandesh Women and Children. Three days of the week, I taught English to seven young girls, ages 4 to 17. The other two days of the week, I helped women of the project make paper jewelry. Making and selling jewelry allowed them to have their own source of income, thus empowering them. My Magellan project was the manifestation of several years of research and all of my passion for this cause. Hi, I'm Savannah Strauss, and I'm a junior international studies major. With the help of the Magellan Project, I live in China for three weeks between May and June to conduct interviews in academic communities about internal labor migration and its consequences in society. We visited a community of migrant laborers. Hi, my name is Stephanie Mogul. This summer I did a Magellan Project, which sent me to London, Torino, Italy, and Rome, Italy. I was studying alternative transportation, so in London I was looking at the tube system, which is one of the oldest subway systems in the world and also one of the most efficient. Also then, once I got to Torino, I was looking at their brand new subway system, which they just implemented within the last uh, little over a year. And I also was in Rome, um, and basically I went to Rome just so I could take a long train ride in Italy to experience their actual trains. Hi, I'm Allie Gilmore, and I won the Tugel Diversity Scholarship this past year. This is a grant to do eight weeks of independent summer research, and I chose to do my project on Dr. Charles West. He was a 1924 WNJ alumni, and he was an African-American football player. He faced a lot of discrimination during that time, so I was interested in finding out more about his life. Hi, this is Julia Thomas, and I'm a junior, and I just got back from doing my Magellan project in Paris, France. I had an amazing time retracing the footsteps of some of the lost generation. 
American writers in France in the 1920s. I focused on Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, and Gertrude Stein, traveling around the city to their old haunts to do some writing of my own. Hello, my name is Claire Flersky, and I am a rising junior at WNJ. Over this past summer, I was fortunate enough to be granted the opportunity to study abroad in beautiful, sunny Perugia, Italy. I consider my experience to be a true case of culture immersion, which was exactly what I needed to gain a significant grasp on approaches used for learning a second language. I would not have been able to afford a chance such as this, but with the full support of the Vera I. Hines program, they helped me make my European dream into a reality.